I was wanting to get find out like what what's the real truth about this plant because I felt like a lot of people were lying about it. Once you get a certain point of research and you learn a certain amount of, about cannabis, you kind of want to tell people all about it. So I decided that I would help people learn and and try to do it in a fun way. So I ended up um, writing a, a book that hopefully is fun to read and also is educational and I packed it in with what I believe to be the most um, advanced science on medical cannabis. So I wanted to do something that couldn't be replicated on the internet, you know. You can find information about cannabis on the internet, but can you be entertained through a story while you learn about the plant? So I felt like this was something different that wasn't out there yet. I really do think that um, the more people start using cannabis as fullest potential, the more like utopian that specific society will become. My book is called Cannabis Paradise because I kind of try to imagine society that did use it to its fullest potential and then kind of, you know, let the user decide, you know, is that cannabis paradise or is that paradise or not? The subtitle of my book is Cognitive Dissonance, which is for me one of the most fascinating parts of the book. Cognitive dissonance is kind of like, you know, when your belief systems are kind of fighting each other. When people hear that cannabis cures cancer, all these thoughts go on in your head like, well, then why aren't doctors using it? Or why aren't the cancer associations admitting it? Or why aren't oncologists promoting it? All of those beliefs that contradict the statement that cannabis cures cancer, I find that fascinating. And I really hope that my book can debunk all the beliefs and say like, okay, yeah, their oncologists are not recommending it but it's because of money, you know, or, you know, they're not, the government hasn't admitted that cannabis cures cancer, but that's because pharmaceutical industry controls and lobbies the government. So I try to explain you know, all these things so that when people hear cannabis cures cancer, they are not like, oh, that's impossible because it'd be all over the news. It is possible, but it's being suppressed. I mainly focused on the medical properties because I wanted that to be the, the highlight of the book that, because I think that when you talk about cannabis, it's the medical properties is the real like feature that most people should be focused on the most. I definitely wanted to to make people realize that the government has made a really big mistake with with making cannabis illegal, and that you know they've done a lot of people harm, and in doing that, and I wanted to make that crystal clear because um, sometimes what really motivates a revolution and motivates people to do something is emotion. So I definitely want to disturb emotions. The U.S. government, you know, they, they're they basically going from, we said it's not medical for what, like 80 years or more. And now they're, now they're kind of like, oh, well, there's a bill that's going to pass that we, we may allow it to be, you know, rescheduled from schedule one to schedule two, which means, well, mid has medical value. All right, that's great. But at the same time, it'd be great if there should be a formal apology to the, all the people that have died because they have access to medicine. A formal apology to all the people they threw in jail, throwing you know hundreds of thousands of people a year into jail for a, a medical plant that was healing people is is a really big deal. And I wanted to dramatify it because I think that we become desensitized to thinking that that's normal and it's not a big deal, but I think it is a big deal. If you are healing someone, if you have a two-year-old son and you're healing them, you know, cancer with cannabis oil, <laughs> and then you throw the father in jail because they're doing that, I think that's a bit barbaric. If you're trying to save your child's life, they should definitely have that opportunity. And if they're definitely not, not only not doing harm, but they're healing someone, they should, they should be allowed to do it. So I'm trying to explain how this current situation is barbaric and the government really has to make it up for us. And that, they have to do more than just be like, oh, I guess it is medical. They should do more. I think things are going in the right way. And I definitely think in 10, 15 years, most, if not all the states in the United States will have legalized medical, at least medical cannabis. Mm -hmm.